Well, I feel very fortunate that I came in in the middle of the school year. So uh, Mr. Lowell had left me with great staff, great students, and it was an exciting time of the year. I'm looking forward to the rest of the school year and learning more about the staff and the students and how I can help them educationally. Every day is different. I have um, a schedule that I write down of my to-do list, the things that I want to get done. I, I'm starting to get my routine of what I want to do. It's greeting the students at the door in the morning, um, at the drop-off, going in and checking in on our teachers and if we have a substitute to make sure that they have everything. I was born and raised in Granite City. Um, I'm a 1997 graduate of Granite City High School and I was involved in the high school and, and enjoyed um, that and I'm very proud of, a, of being a graduate of Granite City High School. This is actually my second career. I worked in the banking industry first and have a business degree from SIU Edwardsville. I knew that I'd always wanted to be a teacher so I went back into education and studied and got my master's at Lindenwood and then started um, at Cahokia for a year and then I came to Granite City in the business department and after that, um, that job changed after about nine years. I was able to go and teach third and fourth grade um, technology classes and we changed that to a STEM and writing course. And that expanded over the few years. Then COVID hit, we started passing out Chromebooks and that job changed a little bit with the technology. My husband and I have a scholarship and our son's memorial. Um, it's called the Carson Niepert Memorial Scholarship and we started that in 2008. Um, we've awarded, I believe, about 55 scholarships since then, um, totaling over about $70,000. So we're really proud of that. We do a fundraiser each year. The community of Grant City has supported us in all of that. And we award that to graduating Grant City High School seniors each year.